Good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday here in central Illinois and I'm getting ready to go out and spend a little time with my niece and daughter and I wanted to just reflect a little bit for you about my perspective on embracing the life that we have been given. Many of us take for granted that we're going to live a long and healthy life. But the truth of the matter is, we really do not know how our lives are going to pan out over the course of it. I grew up with parents who died fairly young, especially during my younger years. My mom was 52 when she died of diabetes complications. I was 17. My dad then died five years later, and I was 20. Um, my children's father died at the age of 48 and so I've lived the majority of my life realizing that life can be cut short and that we have to be able to figure out how we're going to create a meaningful and joy-filled life. I've been a therapist for more than half my life and the sadness and the despair and the frustration and the anger that people experience because of the everyday challenges that they have make it difficult to really find joy in the everyday simple moments that each of us have. And so you know, over the course of my life, I have made it my journey to not take those things for granted by living a life where I was faced with death of loved ones um, at a very early age, not just one person, but many, many people. And in the course of my career, seeing people who cut their own lives short um, by acts of self-harm because the everyday experience was maybe more than they felt they could handle or they felt that they were a burden on their loved ones. So. You know, that's one of the reasons why I created the Healing Homesteader channel and Facebook page was to share with tip, my tips um, for how people can grasp joy in those everyday moments of living a simple and frugal lifestyle. And I've created, I live in the home that I grew up in. It has a lot of meaning to me. It's the only memories I have left of my parents. And so I've created my own joy in this homestead that I have in the middle of a small town of 500 people because I didn't ever really want to leave it. I knew that I was a little root bound by staying here and maybe I was cutting short some opportunities in my career um, or my social life. But I just decided that living here and creating, I don't know if you can hear the sound of water, I've got a koi pond, I've created a lot of nature habitats for animals along with raising, you know, my, my chickens and my garden and canning and, you know, doing things that just really add a lot of value to the everyday life that I live because none of us know how long we have. And so I just wanted to share with my viewers the importance of figuring out how you want to define your life and how you want to bring meaning to it, no matter how long or short, how you choose to remain healthy and happy and, and um, have meaning in the life. I think in the end for all of us, we want to have run the race and had a life that was worth running and living and bringing joy to not only our own lives but to the lives of those around us, the circle of influence that we have. Those little moments when we invite a person over for a cup of coffee and, and share their life journey with them. Um, it's, just, it's just something that was on my heart this morning um, when I was doing my devotions and before I decided to leave the day to enjoy some time with my, my again, my niece and my daughter. 
um, they grow up so quickly and our lives change and we grow older and it's just something that I hope that when I post these videos on YouTube about how to live a joy-filled life that it offers insight into each of us that we don't have to spend an exorbitant amount of money or or live these crazy chaotic lives racing to get through each day so that we can have a better tomorrow when those todays are right here in front of us. So I hope that all of you have the blessed life that you seek. And if life throws you curveballs and depletes some joy in one or two areas of your life that you find other ways to fulfill yourself and to fill that cup again with the joy that will make each day and each moment something that you feel good about. So have a wonderful blessed Sunday and I hope to see each of you again when I do another video later today on homesteading and how it is what we make it for ourselves. So have a good Sunday everybody and um, blessings to all of you. Bye-bye.